Welcome to the Magnolia. I'm Nida Bittman Neville, your host, and the Magnolia is focused on image, brand, and business culture and heard every Friday at 9 a.m. as we explore a variety of different topics that help you to enhance image and brand, whether that be on an individual basis or on a company basis. Now, on today's topic, I'm going to be talking about mapping out your life's journey. And I thought it very appropriate that I stand next to the grandfather clock that my father built many years ago. And because hear the tick tock, our life is passing by with each one of those tick tocks. So here's what I would like for us to do today. I am going to talk with you about Again, mapping out your life's journey. I've taken a chapter from one of the Professional Woman Network books called Overcoming Obstacle, Obstacles, Transition, and Change. This happens to be the book that was dedicated to my mother, Dorothy Bittman, and I have found the book to be of such inspiration and challenge to me. And I wanted to share with you one of the chapters that, in fact, was written by a very dear friend of mine. And it's called Roadmap to Transforming Life's pathways. And in it, in the very beginning, she talks about a song that says, life is a highway. I want to ride it all night long. Life is a journey, isn't it? And we need to make the most of this journey. And so one of the activities she has in the book is my personal life roadmap. And she asks you to get a huge piece of paper pens, colored pencils, magic markers, whatever you want, and to create what has been your path up until this point. And you can use some icons if you want to, you can spell it out, you can create it any way that you want to. Because if we look back at our life, it certainly will probably help us to look possibly at the future and where we want to go. Now, she challenges us to create our future roadmap and here are just a few things to get us started. Begin with the present moment and end with your passing or death. Now, while that may be a little, oh gosh, you know, I hate to do that. I have no idea when I'm gonna die and pass. Well, none of us do, but we can take at least some control and determine what is it that I'm gonna do from this moment going forward? What are some of the things that I really wanna accomplish? She says, be bold dream big dreams. Explore alternative futures that emphasize different aspects of you because we're all very complex people and you may have a fun-loving hobby uh, that you would really like to turn into more of a lucrative hobby, if you will. So explore those alternate, alternative rather futures. Express the deepest, wildest, most creative dreams that you can possibly focus on and then explore, where could they take me? How could I get there? And maybe we even have a couple of U-turns on the map, who knows? Now that we've got our map, and this may take you a little bit of time, so don't get discouraged. If you get stumped a little bit, just put it aside and then go back to it. And if we think about it, it's almost like creating, what I thought about was creating a bucket list. If you've seen the movie, The Bucket List, you know that there were two gentlemen who knew that they didn't have very long uh, in this world, and they decided that, they had, by golly, I want to do some things that before I pass. And so they set out to check off a few wild and crazy things. Well, isn't that what all of us should be doing? So she says, now that we've got our future map, it's time for reflection. What have been the important moments in your life so far? Can you identify experiences that made you who you are? When did you meet the most important people in your life? And how will all these moments help you in your future journey on this roadmap of life? There have been many changes in our lives, and along the way there will con certainly continue to be many changes. But we've got to dream big, as she says, and we've got to create that tick we don't want to let them just waste and go by, do we? We want to make the very most of every moment that we have so that 
that in itself helps to build our image and our brand. It helps us to be consistent with the way that we communicate and how we're going to present ourselves and our thoughts and our ideas, possibly even how we're going to either change or modify our appearance. Maybe along that pathway you want to you want to eat better, you want to lose some weight, you want to begin an exercise program, you want to learn to ride a motorcycle, you want to take skydiving, whatever it might be. Because you see, this is your life, isn't it? And so create your journey. Now, you've been listening to The Magnolia and watching, of course, The Magnolia, heard every Friday at 9 a.m. as we explore topics in relationship to image, brand and business culture. I'm your host, Nida Bittman Neville. I hope that you've enjoyed the show and please take that blank piece of paper now, get those colored markers and set it out on the table and begin to map out your future. Until next time.